So last year, I was actually reading one of Joe Dispenza's books, and I was really impacted by a story he shared where he said that after he'd been hit by a truck during his triathlon, and he was laying in a bed, I think paralyzed or semi-paralyzed, he mentioned that he decided to see if his thoughts could really heal himself. And one of the experiments he did on himself was he pretended as if every thought in his head would actually come true. So he said, what if you lived one day as if every thought in your head eventually came true? And that's kind of a scary thought because most of our thoughts in our head are fears. So what if every fear in your head today came true? Well, I decided to do a 24-hour experiment to see just that. What were the thoughts in my head? And what would happen if I tried to act, control my mind, as if all those thoughts would come true? Now, in this video today, I want to share exactly what the results were. Hey guys, Alex Hine here, author of the book, Master the Day. So I'm coming out with an awesome one-year life change program. It's kind of like a one-year success plan. And in the course, we're actually going to be focusing on a brand new part of your life for one month to focus on for a 30-day challenge. Each week, we get a brand new habit video and an audio affirmation to focus on to work on the inner game and the outer game all at once. There'll be a little brief workbook for the week and then a monthly live stream with me. So if you want to be notified, the course is going to be around 10 bucks a month. The first link in the description will not only get you the free journaling, uh, the goal setting worksheet, I'm only going to notify people when that course opens in two weeks on that list. So if that interests you, add your name to the list. So I started by, just for the day, writing down a lot of the key beliefs and thoughts that I had in my head to see, for starters, what was going on in my brain. Here were a couple things that I noticed come up. So I had, for example, someone refund a course they bought from me. And my first thought was like, oh, this is so annoying. Uh, like, why are, what's with all these refunds? What am I doing wrong? This sucks. My business might fail. And that was the beginning. And it's funny that I chose to think of that instead of, all right, well, then I need to improve. And then my business will be better in the long run. I was getting a text from a friend at one point, And the friend was basically annoying the shit out of me. And I was just like going off about, oh, this is so annoying. I just want to throw my phone against the wall, get it out of my sight, not be notified for a year. And then I was like, all right, well, first of all, this is my friend, so I don't have to be friends. Or maybe they're going through something. Or, all right, let me just not worry about my feelings and just respond to them. I was going through my student debt. And I was like, how the hell am I going to pay all this off? This is a lot of money, and even though I'm doing a lot better than my classmates because of my business, it's still going to be a lot of money I've got to pay. And then I was thinking about, oh man, I'm going to have to get a crappy apartment wherever I move after school so I can afford to pay off loans, and blah, blah, blah. And I could have just as easily said, all right, well, let's keep growing the business. Let's find new and creative ways. That's, this is the price I paid for getting the training to do work I loved. I woke up. And it was pouring rain, like it always does here where I live. And I'm like, ah, oh, like I, I really needed a sunny day. This sucks. It's going to kind of ruin my day. And I was just like, meh, meh, meh. And I could have just as easily been like, well, number one, I'm choosing to live here. I'm not going to live here that much longer for another year. All these little things that even though I wasn't saying, and even though none of my friends saw me as a negative person, I don't see myself as a negative person, these were like a lot of the common thoughts going through my head. And I imagined if those all came true, would I want to be stressing about debt, worrying about my business failing, being alone because my friend was annoying me, constantly being pissed off about the weather, being gloomy all the time and never seeing sunlight? Like, are these things I'd want to have come true? And the answer is obviously hell no. So here's what I learned from this little experiment that you can do in one day. The first thing I learned is that our thoughts are usually overwhelmingly negative. Even if you're like a pretty happy person, like when thoughts come out of wherever they come out of, they tend to overwhelmingly be like, eh, at first. And I'm like a positive, happy person. So it's crazy that not only all these thoughts, they tend to complain first, but the mind tends to be overwhelmingly negative. The mind seems to be a professional at observing the things that are not working. Especially if you're someone like me that is always looking for things to improve, therefore you're looking at what's not working it's really easy to get stuck in that cycle. 
that ultimately a lot of these are just fears that are bullshit, that they're, they're not even true. They're just invented. So the challenge here for you today is really pretty simple. Today, you just pretend for 24 hours that every thought in your head would come true. Because then what happens is when you catch yourself being like, oh, I'm so broke, you're going to be like, but I'll find a way. When you catch yourself being like, my friends are all annoying me, well, then I'll fix it or I'll get new ones. When you catch it being like, are they going to dump me? Or I don't know what's going on in my relationships. Or my mom is annoying the crap out of me. It's, okay, well, my mom is all I got, so maybe I can work on it. Or maybe then we just don't talk as much. It's crazy how quickly you go from having this fear-based vision that's playing over and over and over this tape to you catch it. You just nip it in the bud right when it comes up. It's, oh my God, look at all the student debt to, all right, well, going to find a way or I'm going to have to find a way. And it's like a complete shift, 180, and you're catching it when it's a thought, not when it's coming out of your mouth. So I hope it's a worthwhile challenge for you, something that's worth trying out. Now, before you go, comment there below. Let me know, while you're watching this video, what was one of the thoughts that came up? And you can be honest, I've got thick skin, all right? Comment there below. Again, if you guys want to be notified about my new yearly transformation program coming up with the 30-day challenges, the weekly habit video, and weekly affirmation, click the first link in the description to get on the list for the goal-setting program because that's the only way I'm going to be notifying people is through that email list alone, okay? So if it interests you, click the first link and add your name.